while back I wanted to explore the possibilities of using a mobile depot as a way to gain an advantage or to somehow create a new PvP tactic. And it worked to some extent, but it was a little bit limited in the fact that you could be blobbed pretty easily. This is the fit I used, nothing special, armor buffer, no propulsion, thorax, set up to kill destroyers and frigates, um, heavy armor buffer so that you can last long enough to change things in and out. Nothing too special here with the thorax. So here's the video. And you can see I'm on station to start with. And there's that Hecate, Ishkur, Balgorn, Karakal. Nothing I can fight, certainly not on a station. So I'm going to warp to the medium here. And then, I'm not sure who that was, tried to uh, duel me, which was stupid. But uh, going to the medium, I'm expecting that the Hecate may follow, and maybe the Ishkur, the Balgorn can't. Um, so if they do follow, then I feel like that's a fight I can take, a Hecate and Ishkur. It looks like the only one following is the Hecate. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in. I don't want this fight to take place on the outside, because if it did take place on the outside, I would be at a pretty big disadvantage. You can see he warped to range, so he didn't come to zero on the gate. So I get in, the first thing I want to do when I get in is throw down my mobile depot. So I'm going to throw that down, and the more I did this, the more I kind of got into a, a rhythm. You drop your mobile depot at the entrance, you go ahead and you bookmark it, because you want to be able to come back to it if someone runs the site and you got stuff in it. Uh, another good thing I found, about, found with it was that you could be PVPing, and you could basically just drop all your loot in there as you kill stuff in the plex and it's safe from being killed. They can reinforce it, but you just come back, you know, the next day or, you know, a few hours later, whatever, and you pick it up. Um, no problem, you don't lose anything. So I went ahead, I'm running my scanner nonstop, 1AU to keep an eye on what's coming and uh, make sure it's nothing but the Heck 8. If it's just the Heck 8, not a big deal. I've gotta wait for my mobile depot to come online for me to really be able to execute this strategy. It's not online yet, so I'd, I'd really rather wait a little while um, for the fight to start, but we'll see. Alright, so finally goes online. Throw some of my extra stuff in there, so you know if I do die, it's not as big a deal. And it'll be easier to access from there. Ares came on scan, and that's an auger. So the auger is a no-go. I'm warping out. The Ares, okay, fine, but the auger is absolutely a no-go. I'm just going to get out of there because I can't kill a Hecate if he's got Logi reps. And remember, I'm in a medium site. So that's not a very good fight for me right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to warp off and kind of keep an eye on it. Um, I know my... my Mobile Depot is safe in there, so I'm just going to warp off and um, come back in a minute and hope that the auger is not around. I don't know that he was with them. I never saw him directly with them. Usually in EVE PvP, it's fair to assume that if you see an auger on scan, it's probably with the guys you're about to fight, but not always. Um, the auger is Tech 1, Armor Logi. Usually. Almost always. Alright, so now I'm warping back. I'm going to go. I always bounce off the station instead of going straight to the site because you never want to go straight to a site. You, you don't know what's there. So there could be a, a fleet sitting right on the gate. That auger is still on scan. That's not good. So there's nothing in the site. I'm going to go ahead and warp down to it. I scanned it at 15 degrees. It looks good. There's nothing on scan at all except for the Condor and the Kestrel, and those could be pause trash. So 
looks pretty safe so far. Uh, my idea, I was just kind of testing the strategy out. I didn't know the mechanics behind it at the time, and I wanted to see what the mechanics were and see just how versatile this was. Um, you know, I'm just going to talk about the general tactics of it while we're waiting for this to set up. What I found is that the, the this is a great use for it. Maybe using an, a, a mobile depot on a bubble in Nullsec with a Prophecy would be a great use because a Prophecy has a huge buffer tank which gives you plenty of time to de-aggro from that timer since you can't refit as long as you have an aggro timer um, which I found out in this fight but another use for it is in small sites let's say you had a frigate and you could just sit there in the small or the novice site and you could refit depending on the target that was coming in so there's no limitation to refitting before the fight starts. You can see now we've got the Hec 8 on scale, scan again. A long scan. So what you would do is, if it was a Condor coming in, you would fit maybe a micro warp drive and an overdrive so you're fast enough to catch the Condor. If it was a Slicer, same thing. right? So you'd have those set of targets and a fit set up just for them to fit to and say you're in Cursus or whatever you happen to be in. And then let's say it was a Fed Navy Comet coming in. Well, then you'd have another fit set up for scram kiting or something like that. And then, you know, you see the point. So you could always fit for exactly the target that's coming at you just by having the mobile depot there. And no one really knows about this right now. So the way that to defeat it, the way to know that this, that's what the person's doing, you know, if it ever gets widespread, is you just scan and look to see if there's a mobile depot inside the Novice or the, the Faction Warfare site before you go in. <coughs> and that'll tell you if that's what the person's doing. So, you... That's probably the most powerful way to use this, is to fit exactly for the fight that's coming on the fly. And there's a lot of different situations where that could work. There's... And you don't have to aggro, so that's another thing. Like, let's say you're in the prophecy example, and you're sitting on a bubble, and maybe in comes a ship, uh, I don't know, let's say that in comes a Deimos, right? And the Deimos is a heavy rep, he can rep six, seven, eight hundred DPS, more than you can put out. And so you say, you know, he's shooting you, but you've got such a big buffer, you say, okay, well, what's the best way to defeat this guy? Newts. You go into your mobile depot, you fit your newts, you've got drones for damage, you fit a full rack of medium newts, and you fit a uh, medium cap booster to keep them going, maybe two medium cap boosters, and then you newt the, the living crap out of that, uh, that demos. So the fight's starting right now, so we can go back to this. Ares comes in, I'm not worried about him, so I'm going to go ahead and try to grab him. I get scram and two webs on him. But unfortunately, he has enough speed from that first little bit of a, a micro warp drive cycle that he's able to coast out of my range. Uh, maybe had I overloaded both my webs, I could have held on to him. I couldn't, so I'm just going to let him go. The cool thing about this is he's a tackle Ares. He's not going to do enough uh, DPS or any DPS to me to be of any concern. He's just here to try to catch me and hold me down so that his buddy in the Hecate can come kill me or try to but you know we, we all know what's going to happen there um, heck eight versus this ship it's it's a joke heck eight has no chance so forget about the aries go for the heck eight i use a keypad of 1.5k the reason for that is to maximize my tracking i could back that off to 2.5 if tracking becomes an issue <coughs> the reason i did 1.5 is i don't want targets drifting away from me like that aries did so i want to kind of stay pretty close you can see here i'm just absolutely nuking this dude I've got Valkyries out that's explosive damage on the drones as well just nuked him I nuked him hard so the Hecate goes down I can't kill this Ares I can't warp away so here's where my mobile depot comes in there's nothing else coming at me so I just go ahead and de-aggro pull in the drones that's the one thing you gotta always be careful about is pulling in the drones they'll stay aggroed and keep you aggroed longer than you wanted if you don't watch it and pay attention so what I want to do here is I want to switch out, but you'll notice that I'm trying to, can't do it. It says cannot refit in space with active weapons timer. 
So that means my aggro timer is limiting me. So I've got to wait until that runs out before I can refit. This guy, in his head, he's thinking right now, well, he may, may have killed my buddy in the Hecate, but that guy's gone back to get his, you know, battle, not, not battleship, can't get in here, maybe his uh, Deimos or his Pilgrim or whatever it may be. He's going to get back up or he's calling his buddies and they're going to bring two or three guys in here to kill me. So he thinks he's got me forever and he's going to eventually kill me. I've got an Ishkur on scan, which I would love to kill, but I don't know what else is going to come and I'm de aggroed for right now. So I decide to go ahead and get out of here, throw in one stab, just one warp stab, that's all I need because he's long pointing me. Check my scan again, kind of consider maybe staying, but nah. Go ahead and warp off. My stuff's safe there in the site. I've got it bookmarked. It's in there. They can't blow it up. And I'm out. And so that guy right now, he's, he's thinking, what the heck is going on? How, how did this just happen? He has no clue. Absolutely no clue. When this happened, I was laughing. I was absolutely laughing my ass off because this was so funny. That guy had no idea. He says something in local, I think. But he was just completely clueless as to how that happened. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let the video keep going just for a second, hoping that it shows it in local. Because you point somebody, and you're holding them there for all that time, and you're sure you got them, but then they just warp off. And it's like, what? How the heck did that happen? So let's just give it a second and see if he says it. But it's a fun little tactic. It hasn't been fully explored. I really wanted to make a big video about it, but I just don't have time to explore this tactic any anymore. And I figured it was better to go ahead and get it out there than it was to sit on it forever and um, never get around to exploring all the possibilities. I think this is enough to kind of give you the ideas of where this can go and a lot of other um, motivated PVPers that really want to try this and take this to its fullest extent can build off of what I've got right here. But that's it for uh, this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a nice, fun little tactic, and I'll see you guys in the next video.